We're going to show you all how to ship a small to normal sized piece of glass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the over the years shipping department and we're going to show you all how to ship a small to normal sized piece of glass. I know a lot of people are said that they have been scared to sell glass because they're worried about the shipping aspect of it. I'm going to show you that you can do it and not be worried. All right. So up is going to be this absolutely beautiful Fenton glass country cranberry fern trifold rose bowl um so this just recently sold in my live sale which is every monday night at eight o'clock p.m eastern standard time on the over the years youtube channel so i'm going to show you guys how i am going to pack this rose bowl all right first you can you want to get up you can get Come a little, a little closer. closer yeah so first what we're going to do is is we're going to wrap it in packing paper um Generally, I, I try to cut a piece that works. All right. Then we are going to wrap that piece up. And we're going to tape it up. So now we're going to use some small bubble wrap. And I'm only using one sheet because of the quality of the next step, which includes the big bubble wrap. All right, so now we're all wrapped in small bubble wrap. Next up, we will be using the special bubble wrap that I uh, buy. And I'm sure we'll probably try and put a link for this in the description of the um, the video. Uh, this is the best big bubble wrap in the world. It is non-poppable. Like, what do they call it? Vapor? Vapor? I don't remember exactly. Yeah, what it's, it's got the word vapor in it. But yeah, so the best part about this bubble wrap is that it, it, go, it goes into these size pieces. So now I can do... Take two pieces of big bubble wrap and And there we go. Bounces like a ball. No worries. Now I'm going to show you how to put it in a box. So generally what I'll do is, is I want to weigh how much this weighs in the bubble wrap to see if I'm going to put it in a box that will ship first class or non first class. So this already weighs 12.6 ounces. So this is going to go priority mail. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use one of these free boxes from USPS. One of the most important things about shipping any sort of breakable that a lot of people undervalue is how you tape a box. It's very important to make sure that every crease is taped to avoid the box uh, exploding, for lack of a better word. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to use recycled newspaper to fill the box. So as you can see, we have now filled the base of the box. We will then take the item, put it in the box. And the next step is you want to fill the voided areas in the box. So that will be four sides. So one, 
two, three, four, and now you want to fill the top. Well, let me show you that first. So you see how it's nested in there. Now you're going to fill the top, which will also help fill a little bit more of the side void on the side. Now your top is filled. You will now close the box. And once again, you want to make sure you hit every single crease, especially on larger, on larger items that you ship. One of the creases that most people forget about is this side crease right here. So you want to make sure you get that one and we're all done. That's how you pack a piece of glass in that smaller to regular size shape. As you get more comfortable, you'll be able to ship larger pieces of items with the same sort of technique. And we'll show you some of those techniques at a later point. But hopefully this guys, this will help you guys and you'll find it helpful and allow you to source more glass items. So thank you very much.